Hi everyone, welcome back. The last few days we've been talking about lower body, ground forces, uh, some transition. I mentioned we were going to talk about shelling the shaft. We're going to do that today. Uh, it goes right along with what we're doing with the lower body. Um, so we need to get, get right to it. So shelling the shaft. So what does that mean? It means that we're, we're trying to get the golf club to come in at a shallow path into the golf ball. Okay, that's, that's ideal. So it shells, so we have a shallow divot. Um, so we can have control over the golf ball, control over the spin. Uh, we certainly don't want it. So if someone needs to shallow out, usually they're too steep and the club is coming in, coming in this way too much, it's coming in too steep. So again, we're just trying to shallow the golf ball. It's been a hot topic the last couple of years um, in the teaching forum and on touring. You've probably heard someone talk about it, um, if not multiple people in the last couple of years. So again, now that we know what shallowing the club is, there's a few ways to do it. Um, I'll prefer the, the second option that we're gonna choose from and where I'm gonna talk about. Uh, one works with momentum um, and one does not work with momentum. So most players, uh, for the average amateur, what happens with them, and I see this more than I don't, is that they come in, you know, someone has, again, has told them to clear their hips. And so that when they get to me, uh, they have a very twisty golf swing. So what do I mean by that? So when someone's very twisty, see they, they get to the top here and they get twisty. So their hips and shoulders make them go into the ball. So again, they get closer to the ball, something that we've talked about. We get closer to the ball, we twist. Um, and so if, if we just let the momentum of the club move, see the club would move way out, way outside the golf ball. And so uh, which is usually going to produce a pull, or if the face is open, it's going to slice. Either way, it's not consistent, big loss of power, and you don't have really a lot of control over the golf ball. So to combat that, um, uh, and you know, it, this works for some people, um, but I'll tell you the reasons why right now I, I, I don't teach it personally, is shallowing the club. So someone that's twisty, if you think about it, if I take it out and up this way, okay, if I move into it and get twisty and the club is going this way, well, see how my hands are moving towards the ball? So if I just shallow the club, which shallowing the club, so when I do that, you can see that the, the head gets way behind my hands, and now I've got to really twist my body as hard as I can or play catch up with the face, okay? So can you hit it like that? Uh, yeah, you can hit it any way you want. Um, it can produce some speed, uh, definitely. Uh, I think it takes way too much practice to get the timing down on that and to be able to play consistently. Just so you kind of know what, what I'm talking about is that when the club drops down from the top of the swing, see the, the head of the club wants to go this way, okay? Now, if you twist your body, it makes the club generate that way even faster because of the weight of the club. It's gaining, it's gaining force. This club is gaining force and pounds every time it gets lower to the ground. So this way is a little bit. So as you can see, if I get this way, okay, and, I, and I'm up top here and I twist, see that puts in a, a lot of pressure on my right arm. See, we wanna feel like you're, you're playing with soft hands and soft arms. See, I can't do that anymore. My grip pressure tightens way up now I gotta twist my back and try to put all this weight that I just put in my arm and try to square the club face. Um, so for, for me, you know, that, that just, it's a lot of timing and I think it's a good way to get hurt, actually. It just, it puts a lot of stress on the body. Um, so it, it's especially, you know, with, with someone that's uh, weak or a beginner, um, I just don't, I don't know how that's gonna work out. So. Now that we've got this right here, we're gonna <clears throat> talk about the momentum. So if there's if there's weight on there, see, I want the weight of the club or the momentum going towards the golf ball. I don't want it going away. I want it going towards the ball because I want to work with momentum. So I can keep a light grip, grip pressure. So I can produce speed. Um, you know, and so that's, again, that's just keeping the club in balance. So. Here, here's what we've got. Here's option number two. Now, obviously this will go along with what we've been working on with forces in your body. 
pushing away, pushing away. See, the reason I'm pushing away is so now I can shell the club out and get the club going towards the ball. Okay, if I've got, if I'm pushing a force this way, so the momentum in the club can go that way. Okay, so again, if my body goes that way, I'm pushing the force the opposite way. So we're always dealing with opposing forces. So now, if I get ready to go here, and I get to the top of my swing, okay? Now, <clears throat> as I push down, see I want the club to move down. See how the handle moves down? So my arms go down in front of me, and the head shallows out this way. So as I'm pushing away, the head of the golf club is going towards the ball. Now you can see here, that what I'm not doing is I'm not twisting into the ball, okay? If I twist, if I twist into the ball, either I'm going to come over the top or gotta shallow the shaft to get behind me. That's why we have to make sure that our body isn't getting in front of our swing, you know, or we practice drills like left foot, right foot back, so we learn how to feel the club get down in front of me. Because I want to feel the club go down in front of me and work towards the ball. I never want to feel like the club gets way too far behind my hands. Again, because then I gotta, I gotta catch the face up with my hands, or I gotta twist like hell to get the face back on the golf ball. Or if I don't do either of those, I'm probably not gonna find the golf course, and I'm gonna have a lot of trouble knowing where my golf ball is going. So, again, what we're trying to feel, I swing back, back to the top. See, my, my right hip actually works, <clears throat> my right hip and, and thigh actually work this way, my left hip pushes away. So as I'm pushing away, see, I'm allowing the golf club to get down in front of me. So I'm almost, I'm feeling like the head of the golf club is working to the outside of my hands, this way. Some would call it inside over the top. Because the only way I can explain it to most people is that they know what over the top feels like, so over the top is this way. See, the head of the golf club's outside my hands, but I'm constantly pulling it because my body's twisting so much is that I'm not hitting it from the inside. Now, anyone that's hit a pole, you probably hit it long left because the ball goes much farther because of the compression is, <clears throat> is twice it is and the face is closing from outside. I want that feeling, I just want it from the inside. So again, when we talk about shallowing the golf club, we're shallowing your arms. The club shallows as a result, but I'm not dropping, dropping my, the head of the golf club faster than my hands. Now, if I get out in, in here and I switch positions, now the club starts to work down. It's still a little bit behind my hands, but as I work into the ball and push away, the head works into the golf ball. So the feeling that I have to have now, what's feel and what actually happens is a little bit different. The feeling I actually have is that when I, I'm swinging down, see the handle moves down this way. It actually moves out towards you and it makes my hands go down. See the handle moves in and the club moves out towards the ball. Now, if we twist, the opposite ha happens. I twist, see my hands go towards the ball. Now again, some people teach that. Get it to the top and make the grip go towards the ball. That's just making the head get farther and farther behind your hands. So, we'll hit a small one here. Get ready to go. So this is gonna be out. Now when I work back down, see my arms, arms shallow that way. Okay, so I feel like I push away from the golf ball so my arms can work down in front of me. What I don't want to do is twist my body and then jam the head way back behind me. Okay, so again, we are going up to the ball. So when I'm, I'm here, so I push away, push away, push away, push away. That's why I'm constantly working away from the ball so I can get the head back out in front of me. So hopefully that, that helps again there's multiple ways, and in my opinion, two big ways to shallow the golf club. Um, my reasoning behind one, I want to work with momentum, not against it. So hopefully that helps you, and uh, keep your comments and questions coming. Thank you.